so I am one of the researchers who participated on the Fort Cavite Research Conference and I am here to discuss to you the results of my research. So let's start. But before that, let me introduce myself. So I am Ms. April Macy Tampes, currently a teacher one at Caloangan National High School. I've been a teacher of Araling Pandipunan and Edukasyon sa Pagpapakatao for five years and I graduated as BSE major in history with specialization in reading at Philippine Normal University. Currently, I am studying Master of Arts in Social Science Teaching also in my alma mater, Philippine Normal University. So without further ado, let me proceed to my research. The title of my research is Measuring the Level of Basic Hekasi Literacy of Kaloangan National High School Grade 8 Students, a Basis for the Creation of Basic Literacy Enhancement Program. So, for the context and rationale of my research, in lieu and the promotion of functional and critical thinking citizens through its inclusion, on the K-12 Araling Panlipunan curriculum, the researcher, which am I, conducted a basic research which aims to measure the basic Hekasi literacy of grade 8 students. So this research deals with the basic concepts that students should know during their grade 8. So these concepts were the ones that they studied during their elementary level. Okay, the researcher created a self-made test that measures the literacy of students when it comes to the basic knowledge on Hekasi. So, I based my research or the test that I have conducted on the competencies which can be found on the Araling Panlipunan Curriculum Guide. So, here are the competencies that I have used on my research. So, this is first nakakagamit ng mapa at atlas upang matukoy ang iba't ibang lugar, lokasyon at ibang impormasyong pang-geografiya which is for geography. The second one, nakakahinuha mula sa datos o ebidensya. Then next, natutukoy ang pagkakaiba ng opinion at fact. And last, nakakasagot ng tanong base sa angkop at sapat na ebidensya. So, let me continue. The research questions that I aim to be answered at the end of this research are the following. First, what is the level of civic literacy of students based on the indicated indicators by the researchers? Second, which of the following aspects of HECASI needs thorough review and understanding? And lastly, what is the overall impression of grade 8 students' level on basic HECASI literacy based on the data that I had obtained? So for the scope and limitation, first thing is the test was constructed and given for the grade 8 students. And the second one is the scores obtained by students does not reflect the overall capacity and level of Kalahangan National High School students, meaning that does not mean that whatever comes after this research uh, concluded all the performance on basic hackathon literacy of other year levels, also the grade 8 of other schools. For the methodologies, so this research is a basic research that aims to test the knowledge of grade 8 students on HECASI. I am referring to knowledge, their basic knowledge, I mean, okay? For the instrument, my instrument here is a constructed 110 item test which was validated by two Araling Panlipunan teachers and one AP coordinator. So, the 110 test items were comprised of the following, 30 items for Philippine history, 30 items for civics, and 50 items for geography, which, which consists of Philippine regions and maps. The sampling that I have made here since this test is for the grade, is, grade 8 is the purposive sampling on 70 grade 8 students, but I can also say that it is also convenient sampling because half of the samples that I have used came from my advisory class. For the data collection, I obtained all the data from the test that I had conducted. And for the data analysis, the data that I have collected was analyzed through the mean percentage score. So here, I interpreted the scores that I have 
obtained based on the level of literacy. Not only on the numerical aspect, I also uh, use the descriptive aspect of levels here. So, 0 to 25 percent is for the beginning level, 26 to 50 percent is for the developing, and 51 percent to 75 percent for the proficient. Anyway, I am using the mean percentage score. And lastly, for the 76 to 100 percent, the highly proficient level. So these are the levels of literacy. So here are my findings. So I have here three categories. The first category is Philippine history, which has subcategories of important dates, events, persons. Okay, so the mean percentage score for important dates is 45%, which has a level of developing, which uh, enters on the level of developing. For the events, it has an MPS of 40%, also in the level of developing. And lastly, for the person's important historical figures, 50%, which also falls under the category of developing. The second category is civic literacy, which has an overall mean percentage score of 48.2%. It has three subcategories also. First is the government structure which has an MPS of 50%, also falls on the level of developing. Agencies, which has an MPS of 46%, which also falls on the level of developing. And citizenship, with 48.5%, also falls on the level of developing. And lastly, for the last category, geography, a total of mean score of 51.84%. So, also, it has three subcategories. First is parts of the map and globe, 87.5%, which is definitely higher than the first MPS. And it falls under the level of highly proficient. Then next is the Philippine regions and provinces, which has an MPS of 48.35%, which falls on the level of developing. And lastly, province location on the map, which has an MPS of 37.5%, which also falls on the level of developing. So I tabulated the scores. As you can see on the tabulated result, geography got the highest, as we can perceive here. Uh, the lowest is the Philippine history, followed by civic literacy, although both has a minimal difference. Okay, so for the overall result, so Philippine history among all its three subcategories all falls under the level of developing. Civic literacy on all three subcategories falls on the level of developing also. And for the geography, the first category which is the parts of the map and globe, it falls on highly proficient. The second and third category falls on developing and it got an overall uh, result or level of proficient. So technically, when I combined all the mean percentage score, the overall result is developing. So here on the final part, for the Philippine history, uh, there must be further review on basic Hekasi literacy concepts such as dates, people, and events in the aspect of history because it is lower than 50%. The second one, civics. Like Philippine history, there should be a review and reorientation regarding the functions of the government, including its parts and the idea of being a Filipino citizen. So more review more activities to enhance their knowledge and then for the geography uh, they get higher scores compared on the two but like my con uh, conclusion on the first two parts it also need activities that uh, can enhance the skills of the grade 8 students so for all my for my overall impression here there should be further enhancement of basic Hekasi literacy learning to be applied on grade 8 students in order to advance the knowledge on these basic concepts. So all these basic Hekasi literacy are very important in order for them to think critically and 
based on the result of my study, it should be enhanced and well developed. So, that's all. Thank you for listening. God bless and have a great day.